Hello, everyone. My name is Lu Rong, coming from China and currently studying at UPM in Malaysia. It's a great honor for me to share my opinions on World Speech Day about this year's theme, Humanity at a Crossroads. I would like to talk about female doctors. By doctor, hearing my topic, I don't mean a person who has been trained in medical science, whose job is to treat people who are sick or injured. Instead, doctor in my topic refers to a person who has received the highest university degree. As a matter of fact, I choose this topic from my own experience. I am now a PhD candidate in UPN and I am a female. I really want to share some of my experiences with you about female doctors. As I have mentioned earlier, I come from China, so I don't know I don't know much about the situation in other parts of the world, but in China, female doctor is a term that has been causing lots of controversies. Some even say that there are three kinds of people in this world, men, women, and female doctors. By this, they mean that the female doctors are a special group of people who are hard to marry, hard to communicate, and not beautiful enough, not sexy enough, and so on. In a world, female doctors are considered as monsters in some people's eyes. Surprise, huh? Let me talk about myself. I'm a mother with two kids. Last year, when I was applying for PhD, uh, one of my colleagues who has received a PhD degree asked me, have you succeeded in applying? I answered, not yet. And he said, actually, you needn't apply. It's enough for a man in the family to apply. You know why he said so? Because my husband is also a lecturer in my college and he's applying for PhD program too. At that moment, I really felt hurt. I was wondering, why shouldn't a female pursue her dream? Why it's always females who should stand behind men to support them? Why should females be inferior to men? These questions frustrated me a little bit, but fortunately, I didn't give up and insisted, and finally succeeded in applying for PhD program in Malaysia. Because I always know what I really want, and I have faith in my dream. I do like doing research in my field and want to make some contributions to society as I may. Last week on March the 8th, it was International Women's Day, a focal point in the movement for women's rights, which began in 1909. Now, 112 years has passed. Women's status has improved a lot, but it remains an issue. In my humble opinion, Humans are now at a crossroads as to the social roles of males and females. Women are no longer bound to the family mentors as before, while men do not occupy dominant positions in every sector of society. As more and more women become engaged in social activities, it's quite natural that more and more women want to get a higher degree. To be honest, Females are rather great and can do as well as or even better than males in many fields. Just as a famous British writer, William Golding was said, I think women are foolish to pretend they are equal to men. They are far superior and always have been. Whatever you give a woman, she will make greater. If you give her sperm, she'll give you a baby. If you give her a house, she'll give you a home. If you give her groceries, she'll give you a meal. If you give her a smile, she'll give you her heart. She multiplies and enlarges what is given to her. Finally, I want to say, be kind to female doctors. They would do lots of good to the family and to the whole society. She's maybe a daughter, a mother, a wife, a friend, a colleague, but now she's a doctor pursuing her dream. Don't hold any prejudice against them just because of it, their gender. May all the female doctors become better selves. Thank you.